So here is a Brazilian who has really taken this light heavyweight division by storm. Johnny Walker back for more here today. And the moment he got to the UFC, Johnny Walker made a beeline towards the top 15 in the world. From finishing Khalil Roundtree with a beautiful elbow to the flying knee and the punches that he landed to finish against Misha Serkinov. You cannot start any better than Johnny Walker has started up to this point. He had three first-round finishes, all of them sub two minutes. He oh. believes he's ready for this division's elite, and I think tonight's result, tonight's performance, could give us some answers as to just how high the ceiling is for Johnny Walker Blue. All right, tonight we get another look at the wildly talented Magomed Akalayev, not just one of the best light heavyweights in the world. For my money, one of the top 20 pound-for-pound -pound athletes on this roster top to bottom. I feel like he can compete with anyone, but I also feel like he has a style that translates weight classes, and that is what pound for pound feet means. This guy can strike. This guy can grapple. This guy has tremendous cardio. I don't think anything points to that more than the Bohovic fight. When it went bad, he just pivoted and did something different and almost became the champion. Tonight, he's got to be on his game if he wants to get his hand raised. And a lot of people believe against any 205er in the world, Magomed Ankalaev would be the betting favorite. Let us see how he handles this stylistic challenge in front of him tonight. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, early round action here. Johnny Walker told us in the fighter meeting this week he believes this matchup is very favorable, particularly when it comes to the striking game. We have certainly seen a lot of huge highlights for Johnny Walker. Three straight performance bonuses to begin his UFC career, and that is the form that he is looking to get back to here tonight. him with the straight. Nice job there by Walker. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, Johnny Walker with another early land. This is a guy who fights like he is double parked outside. One of the bigger power threats in this light heavyweight division. And prevailing wisdom is that eventually Walker is going to find himself into a UFC championship scenario. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Nice right now. On the 
Goliath gets touched by that kick there. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Check everything. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Connected with a solid punch right there. Two minutes. Oh, and kick there as he lands it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad on his head kick. And now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, well-timed and placed over and by Uncle All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of bruising now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking, it's starting to take an effect. Let's go. They're so evenly matched, they're going to the attack. Huge block there. Outstanding kick there by Magomed Ankalai. That leg kick hurt. Let me see that. Oh! Oh, effective strike there by Ankalaya. Let's go, let's go. We got one minute left in the round. That's a big hook. Oh, oh he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. That was a big check. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. We'll give up now. 20 seconds left. That one certainly found the target. So now this damage really bears watching, right? His face compromised, and you got to think it's going to start affecting his output as well offensively. Well, you got to look for him to start to make mistakes, trying to overcompensate for all the shots that he's taken to the face, for all the swelling. I have seen on many occasions where someone has massive swelling and they struggle. Look for this guy to start to mess up a little bit. Right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He's not okay. He's not okay. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size 
kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Hands high, hands high. Big punch lands through the middle. Back and forth we go here. to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Walker swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Just misses with the left hook. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. This one. Oh, he's hurt. Uncle Lyev's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Here. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of the You are on wobbly leg. All right, you see his high-level footwork here. Maybe trying to set up that hook shot. He's hurt bad. Well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, you know, that crimson red. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Uncle if you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Well, you know Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of them. He's hurt bad. Big roundhouse now just misses. That's another one of those ones where you might think about stopping it. Oh, yeah, we got blood all over the broadcast table. It's legit everywhere. It's all over us. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way 
to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Stay active. Stay active. Stay active. An elbow! Back to his feet. what would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year. in a very long time i have not seen someone look this good he promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Johnny Walker! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in and even more.